on this Easter Wednesday, April 15th. Our daily scripture readings tell us about two amazing encounters. The first reading from the Acts of the Apostles tells how St. Peter and St. John healed a man who had been paralyzed from birth. The most powerful part of this encounter, at least from my perspective, comes when St. Peter says the following words. I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then the passage continues to say, Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. We can say without a doubt that this paralyzed man never would have thought that he was going to be healed that day. However, like him, we never truly know what's in store for us each and every day, especially as we continue to live out our faith. But if we do live out our faith, amazing things do happen. Our gospel reading for today points to a similar lesson. Because we hear from the 24th chapter of the Gospel of Luke about two disciples. They were journeying from Jerusalem to a town called Emmaus. And they were dejected because they were in Jerusalem while Jesus was crucified. But as they were returning home, they encountered Jesus on the way. And he explained to them how all the scripture readings pointed to him having to suffer and die in Jerusalem. And we hear later that their hearts were on fire as they were on the road with him. So at the end of the journey, they invite him into their home. They break bread with him. And in that moment, they recognize that it was Jesus. And Jesus disappears. Here's how the encounter ends from the Gospel of Luke today. Then they said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found gathered together the eleven and those with him who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he is made known to them in the breaking of the bread. So this encounter transform two dejected disciples into two joy-filled disciples that had to race back to Jerusalem to share the good news. So they, like the paralyzed man, never expected that they'd have such a powerful encounter, especially in their sorrow. But these encounters do happen, and they usually happen when we least expect them. So it's my hope and prayer that these scripture passages can provide some encouragement during these difficult days. Because even when we least expect it, the grace of God can act in our lives in ways that defy our expectations. So please never, ever give up hope. Please know my continued thoughts and prayers for all of you. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Mm-hmm.